If some students dread the end of summer, you never know it here at Pierre Elliott Trudeau Elementary. I've been here for eight years already from pre-K and I love it. Most seem downright ecstatic to be back and so are their parents. I'm so happy. It's the most <laughs> wonderful time of the year. Yes, I'm very happy. I love Mondays now. <laughs> back to school means back to routine and back to early bedtime. But the new school year also brings with some of the same old challenges, namely those extra school fees. It's a struggle. I'm a stay-at-home mom. We only have one salary coming in, and I have two kids. I have a child in high school, and she pays less than my younger daughter. A few months back, 68 school boards across Quebec agreed to pay parents $150 million after a class action lawsuit alleged schools were violating the Education Act by charging the fees. The lawyer for the class said the parents should receive about $28 per student for each year they were charged. In spite of the settlement, the checks have yet to go out and the school boards are still charging the fees, anywhere from $40 to upwards of $150 for things such as workbooks, photocopies and yearbooks. Certainly if the government were to give us money, we would be able to uh, fund you know, more of the I guess supplies that they need. At this point, that would not be a possibility for us. And that has been a discussion from the beginning with the government to say, you need to be a little bit clearer and the Education Act in, in understanding what is in fact uh, um, a free education or free tuition education, if you will. There's a big debate on that. I think it's affordable and I think it's reasonably fair. That debate may get a lot of attention during the election campaign. But back at school, a new challenge is a change in the curriculum. The return of sex education taught as early as preschool. I'd rather them know their stuff now that can help them later on. It's a fact of life. So I think the more they hear it from mature, uh, mature adults, it's better. And so school starts with new ideas and a chance to catch up with not so old friends. And just in case the novelty of back to school wears off in a few weeks, the good news is the Christmas break is just three months away. Rob Lurie, CTV News.